Welcome again to trackalerts.com and we'll be bringing you again the Track Town Classic from Edmonton, Canada on July 15th. Right, Chris? You got it, July 15th down at Footfield Stadium. Okay, just tell us what can we expect from 2016 Track Town Classic? Well, we're looking for some great times, some great results, and a great experience at the end of the day. Um, based on what we saw last weekend with our Canadian trials, I mean, we had a 1996 in the men's 200, a sub 10 in the, in the uh, 100. We had some great hurdles races. So essentially taking that energy from last week and bringing it into this week with a much stronger international field right through from the men's one all the way through the women's 800. So we've put together some fields we're very proud of. We've had some cancellations, which is quite normal after any kind of championship season. Um, we've, we've done really well with what we've put together and I'm quite pleased with what we've got. Mm -hmm. One of the first events that strike me is the women's 200, and this will have Shani Miller you from the it. Bahamas. Yep. And we heard that she may be doing the double yeah. at the Olympic Games. It's not confirmed. I don't think it's confirmed yet, but she may be done for the double. What can we expect from the women's 200? And tell us some of the other persons. Yeah, we can our women's 200 is really strong. It's it actually turned into one of our strongest events really quickly. Um, Shani, as soon as I saw that 2205 in Kingston, I said, "This is the girl we want to." We want to build the fields around and years past we struggled to have a 22-6 for the win um, this year we've been joking about Shawnee and myself about a potential 22-0 or sub 22 which would be huge for track in Canada especially with us here in track town um, the rest of our fields are strong right there uh, the slowest girl in the men women's 200 is 22-61 on the season's best um, we've got depth 22-40 uh, 22-41 22-45 so we're really hoping for a nice positive win and a new stadium record the women's 100 hurdles, Don Harper Nelson didn't make it at the US trials, yep. just spoke to her, she said she's ready to go yep. and she's chasing the record, 12.7. Yeah, and the, and, the, and the record was interesting is with, uh, well, with Priscilla Lopeschleep, it's her record on an older surface. Um, 12.76 is the track record. Last week uh, at trials with terrible conditions and Felicia George won the race in 12.88. Had it been ideal conditions, I feel that race would have been much quicker in the 12 sixes. That being said, with Dawn, she's coming off, she's coming off and not her best U.S. trials, and I, I think we're going to see a new track record in the 12 five tomorrow, assuming that the weather cooperates as well as the facility. Um, we have great fields there. Nikita Holder, another Canadian Olympian, she was at 2012 games as well. Um, Christina Manning's coming up as well from the U.S. Jackie Coward. So we've got this great set of women all trying to battle. And I, I wouldn't be shocked if we see all girls under 13 seconds tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Women's 100, Women's two 100. Jamaicans, yeah. Karen Stewart, and also Burchell in, yeah. in that field. Who are some of the other persons we can expect to? Um, we actually we show. actually added in late uh, Samoy Hackett and Joanna Atkins. Um, both have run 11, I want to say 11, 10 in that time frame now. And again, those are done on slower tracks, and we're really proud of our track here. And that's why I think we can, or why we managed to bring back some of the top athletes, is they know we have a fast track and that we cooperate with the athletes and try our best to ensure that they do have a positive race or a positive, um, a positive wind. We do flip our track. I don't hide about telling people this. We want it to be the best conditions possible for athletes to hit those standards. Men's 100 meter hurdles, Andrew Riley, Jamaica. Yeah. Shane Bratwit, Bahamas, but they will have very good competition. Harris from the US, just the name, you know, yeah, one we, of the main ones. Yeah, we, we've, got, we've got a great men's 110 sticks as well. Uh, we did lose a few, I'll say headliners, but we recovered very well. And in this meet, we've been very loyal with the athletes that have come. So Shane bratwit has been here since year one with us and to invite him back is always a pleasure. And I've told him or told his agent this prior, I said, as long as he's healthy, he's always got a lane here. And I think we might see, uh, I think we might see a new stadium record in the men's hurdles as well. I wouldn't be shocked to see a 12, uh, sorry, a 13-3 a in our race. Mm. Finally, but definitely not the least, the men's 200, the Canadian top, top man in, in, in this event. He, he was bronze medalist last year from the World Championships, but he will have also, he'll be also in a good field. And of course, we're talking about Adrian DeGrasse. Yeah. Um, there's also Wally Spearman. What can we expect from DeGrasse? And, you know, in front of his Canadian fans. Yeah, well, he, he responded really well here last week. Uh, he went sub-10, looked very easy, ran the rounds, relaxed. Unfortunately for him in the final, there was a two-hour wind, a two hour window um, of a delay. So, I mean, uh, it, it's tough for any athlete to rise after that. And um, I think he still ran a great race. Didn't probably turn out the way he expected or his team. But I think he's going to rebound and run something great here in Edmonton. And I'd love to see Wallace step up and, and set a season best. And, Start starting some noise again. I'd love to see two guys run sub 20. Um, is it Andre and Wallace? I hope so. But if someone else wants to jump on that boat, let, let it happen as well. We've got a young Mexican kid in there as well, Jose Carlos, who went 2017 this season, um, and he might be he might be the dark horse that 
people may not look at and he could probably step up and, and do some damage as well. Mm -hmm. There you have it from Chris, Tracktown Classic 2016. A lot of these athletes are preparing for the Olympic Games in Rio. So we expect good competition tomorrow. And of course, trackalerts.com as always will be looking out for the Caribbean athletes. We expect good things from them tomorrow. As we mentioned, Shane Miller who might double, 2-4 double at the Olympic Games. She won't have Alison Felix in that 2-4 double. Alison, of course, didn't make it in the 200 at the US trials. So we expect good competition tomorrow. We expect some fast times. So stay tuned to trackalerts.com for live updates from Edmonton, Canada.